In this video, you're going to write the smart contract for the travel industry, which keep all the information about the travelers. So let's write the contract. We have to provide the license identifier. We have to take the authority version 8.0 and now we have to initialize our contract. So we'll call it travel and that we have to define the straight variables. So address public honor. We have to define the mapping, which keep the track of the token own. OK, so we are providing this system based on the token. So every single address will have a unique that id we are storing in this token owned so that's the mapping we have now let's create another mapping in that we have to keep the track of boolean so it's approved or not okay so this is where we're going to keep all the approvals address now come here we have to initialize this event so whenever any token get purchased we have to simply initialize this event and that we're going to do this from and the value this is the second event we have take purchase now we have to take one more tick cancel and that we have to pass the from and the value so these are the three events we have initialized in this contract you can have multiple depends the kind of features you want to provide in the contract in your travel industry now let's come here we have to initialize the constructor and again we don't going to pass any information in the constructor we want to simply update the owner address so that's the constructor now let's create the very first function which is a uh, approve so here we have to do a check so the first check we want to do is that message.sender is equal to the owner because only owner can provide the approval to become a spender and then we have to simply update our array the mapping we have taken and then we have to simply pass the address of the spender and we have to turn it to true okay so that's the mapping we have here and then simply close this function so let's come write the other function which is a revoke and that we have to simply remove the approval so we have to check for the condition that only owner has the power to do that revoke and we have to simply turn this false in our approve okay this is the second function we have so hope this thing this entire thing makes sense okay we are not building any logic we are just simply laying out the entire structure of the contract and it's depend that what kind of contract you want to build what kind of data you want to take what kind of transaction you want to make it happen okay so you can include in this so that's the one we have revoke let's come here let's write the another function which is called approve and call and that we have to pass the address of the spender and we have to pass the value and we're going to take this bytes and we're going to pass this data extra data we call it okay so this extra data will contain that what information you want to take from the user and that we have to check for a condition that is approved or spender okay so whoever is calling this function does he has the approval as a spender if it has then make the function call otherwise we have to throw this error message spender must be approved by honor and here we have to check one more condition that the token own message dot sender is not is greater or equal to the value so the amount he wants to provide for spending he at least have greater or equal to that if it doesn't have that much then we have to simply throw this error message you don't have enough token to approve this transfer okay so that's the second check we have now let's come here and here we have to simply do the transaction updating the data so we are simply minusing the token which the spender has and we are simply passing this to the value okay so this makes sense that's how you can provide the approval and here we have to initialize the event token purchase and we have to simply pass the address of the spender and the value now we have to simply call this function spender dot call to extract data and that's pretty good okay hope this entire thing makes sense to all of you guys that whatever we have done that's making sense now let's come down here we have to create another function and that will call purchase token so if anybody wants to buy the token they can do with the help of this function so it's going to be an address type destinations unt cost and it's going to be a public so anybody can call not restricted to the owner or the spender here we're going to check the condition that is approved message.sender so it's it's approved if it's approved then only otherwise we have to you must be approved by the owner to purchase ticket that's the condition we want to add into the contract because we don't want to allow anybody can come and buy the ticket first they have to approve it then they can have the permission to buy the token okay so that's how the contract will work so let's come here here we have to simply check for another condition we have to check for another condition that whatever cost he is providing he has to have a greater or equal to that otherwise we have to cancel the transaction 
this looks good take it so that's the second test now we have to simply update the data and we have to subtract it from the spender and now we have to initialize this event the purchase token event hope this thing makes sense to all of you guys if you still have any confusion rewatch try to understand that what we are doing exactly here now come here we have to create one more function cancel ticket and that we have to pass the destination and we have to do a couple of checks so is approve message dot sender he has the approval then only he can cancel the ticket we'll take this uint we'll call refund and in that we're going to call this ticket cost and that we're going to pass this destination and we're going to take this token own message dot sender and we're going to simply call this refund which will send the money back to the user okay so hope this makes sense to all of you guys now let's come here let's write one more function the ticket cost because that's the function we have called the calculation and that's what we have to build right now so in that we are passing the address of the destination and we are simply returning the uint so this function can do either of these two things so if you have understood so far you can is able to build a logic around it okay so i leave it as a challenge for you to complete this okay so let's simply close this function now let's come here let's write the function for the balance of so you can easily be able to find the balance and then we have to pass the address and it's going to return the balance from token own this will give you the balance let's come here this is the entire smart contract we had written for the travel industry so here we have all the state variable we have the events we have the constructor and these are the function we have included into this contract so the best part of this smart contract is that owner has the full control of this contract so we have this approve function which can call by owner this is the revoke function so owner can remove anybody from the contract by simply passing the address so only owner can call this function and the user can easily be able to perform all of these tasks okay this is the purchase ticket function we have this is the cancel ticket function we have this is the ticket cost and the balance so this one is a pretty huge contract and i just want you to build an application around this okay that's going to be a good practice for you because the entire authority you have given to the owner and you have to think in such a way where you have to design the data modeling that whenever any ticket will get sale you can add a token system okay so that's what we are keeping here that purchase token ticket purchase ticket cancellation item okay so these are the information we are keeping okay so add a token system functionality that whenever the owner will add any address whenever the owner will approve any account he or she will get the token which they can utilize for buying the tickets or for buying the event so that's the one function i want to give you and that's a quite easy thing which you can do it very easily so that's the homework i want to give you if you truly want to understand that how the contract work and how you can reward user based on their certain actions okay so that's going to be a very good practice it's going to be little dedicated to the defi section because that's where we are moving so with that i'm ending this video if you still have any confusion any doubt do let me know in the comment sections and do let me know what do you think about it with that have a wonderful day bye bye